Hi all, this is Ramki. Welcome to my channel. Actually, I am planning to teach you COBOL 400 in AS400 platform. But those who already know AS400, please follow me to learn COBOL 400. Those who don't know even AS400 also, if those who don't know AS400 but they want to learn uh, COBOL 400 for them and um, this video is for introduction of OS 400 so what I'm going to teach here is uh, what is mean by OS 400 how it working uh, I mean AS 400 OS 400 is nothing but the operating system 400 and AS 400 is the application system AS 400 it's an object oriented computer meaning that everything is stored an object Okay, let me uh, give you some bit description about AS400. AS400 is an object-oriented computer, meaning that is everything stored an object. Okay, same object can be used for different object types. Like uh, object name is uh, this is the object name. The object type is like uh, program. See the it could be same object name can have a different object name can be same, but object type can have a different type it's supposed to be a different type okay here the object name is a customer MAS is nothing but a program this program uh, is some it's written in COBOL so the attribute is referring here as a COBOL program and the object type is PGM PGM is nothing but a program and the same our name the object name is a cust MAS it's a attribute is a pf is a physical file and the object type is star file so similar that we have here lf lf is nothing but okay here is the list of attributes it could be a cobol program cbl or it could be a pf is a physical file and logical file and dspf is a display file and prtf is a printer file and clp is a cl program okay later we go through one by one for timing i'm just in uh, just explaining what is meant by as 400 what are the things it can okay it's a just basic video only those uh, who want to continue to view this please continue my video okay uh, in as 400 we have a source physical file and source member what the what uh, a source physical file means it's a repository where the source members are stored as the actual source code meaning the actual source code is sto stored in the source physical file but this is not an object okay the object is only created when you compile the uh, compile the source code meaning when you compile the source code the source code will be converted as a system understandable language that is called object okay the source code this is the source code just now i say this are source code and later it's converted as the same name the source code name is converted as an object okay and it's stored in the library okay before i go to uh, here in always in as 400 we have the library concept but all library is also one of the object okay first i tell you here a library which is itself an object is an highest level object type on the AS400 where we have some default libraries like system library, production library or user library. Out of these three library, you can set any one of the above library as a default library. Okay, to, okay later I come to here. So, okay, so let, assume that if, if we are creating some library as a romlib, okay, this is the main library inside the library we are creating source physical files okay these two are source physical file like a qdd src and qcbl src these two are uh, separate source physical file inside the source physical file we are creating the source code for this physical file uh, the, like uh, this is a pfi here i say it's a, okay here i never mentioned but here f means cust mas f is uh, just uh, naming i put as a physical file l means it's a logical file i created the source code uh, then here the program name uh, qcbl src cus pgm1 and cus pgm2 is a um, source code which i'm storing in this physical uh, physical file i mean source physical file i'm storing in this 
source physical file okay so upon once you compile this object once you compile this source code and it's creating as a system and un understandable language correct it's a, call it as an object so when you compile this this program it will convert us like a cus pgm1 is converted as an object and it's stored under the main library so these are called objects so these are called objects these are called objects these are called objects so meaning in this program uh, suppose cus mas sorry this one is a f correct okay yeah so this uh, uh, suppose this is the program this program using the physical file as a this file then this object is referring this physical file i mean it's a file okay um, it's not a source file it's a physical file okay later i i will cover what is been by physical file and logical file everything okay let me continue first uh, okay uh, to create the library we are going to use rom lib star prod lib uh, and list of tools program development we have okay in this as wondered we have a lot of tools but uh, just for your info only i'm telling uh, just programming development tool we can use the str pdm work with member utility pdm is a use uh, command wrk mbr pdm it's all our uh, understandable naming the start source entry utility is use command str is you uh, s e u start screen i screen design aid is uh, str sda start that uh, file utilities str dfu okay uh, okay uh, before i go to here i already told you how to download the um, uh, I mean first before you start the emulator if, if you want to go for uh, I mean if you are totally new for AS400 please go and search this uh, TN5250J in Google uh, emulator and download it if you really not downloaded it uh, you can use my below video link and you can proceed to download okay okay let me uh, tell you I already downloaded and installed it after that the icon is looks like this so double click this um, wait for a while it will uh, give you the window first time it will ask you to key in the IP address everything uh, as I said earlier I think uh, maybe it's new for you all okay so uh, here the IP address once you put add okay I first copy this because this is the IP address uh, so set up set up the ip ip details okay this ip details first. okay let's see first i'm going to remove this my uh, my this window first i will remove because uh, when you install it's going to be a new one so you first add click add just go here just put um as 400 okay then tcp ip just paste the server name as what i given in the screen then just add okay here as i told you in the once you connect it will it will show you the screen the actual free server will come uh see it's coming now so this will connect it will take you the uh, it will take you the screen which is there already PUB 400 they are the one giving free server to access the S400 so uh, what happened let me it's, it's, I think it's connecting let me maybe I disconnect I try to uh, connect again sorry so it could be some server i type as tcp ip it could be wrongly i type so sorry for that or maybe i remove again i add again i go here uh, as 400 tcp ip yeah it's correct only nothing wrong how come it's uh, let's see first Uh, maybe today I think uh, the S100 is very slow. Okay, once you log in, uh, it's uh, ask you to key in the user ID and password. You use the common user ID and password, uh, like uh, uh, user use common user ID 
is user zero one two three and password is user zero one two three. It's the same. So once you log in, you can able to understand uh, further. So now the system is slow. I think the server is not up. So maybe you try later. Sure, it will work. Mm, but anyhow, um, so I'm as I said. Once you log in, you can able to use uh, try to use the create library command. You can create the library. Then just uh, use strpdm. Then option three for uh, you can in explore something. Uh, use uh, work member pdm to enter into the source physical file where you can give your library name then create the source physical i mean uh, you can create this one uh, then you can create this one create so later i will teach you all the things uh, thanks for watching uh, i i will uh, put a video again once it's uh, the server connected successfully thanks